Hi guys, Ryan Groves here from Bet Green, and this is a video uh, just to thank you for joining and also to go into the detail about the half time, nil nil half time versus nil nil full time, and also the goal list. Now, I've been trying to record this video all day. Um, the laptop keeps crashing every time I, I try to record this video. Uh, I wanted to actually record the screen and talk over it. Um, it's not done that. So what I'm going to do is record this video on the phone with my iPad here uh, and hopefully the laptop won't crash so I can use the flash score. Um, but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to talk through it. Uh, I will record a better video, I promise, once this laptop stops crashing. But I really just want you to have something so that you can, you can go from. And hopefully I'll do it as detailed as possible. So Bet Green, as you know, started quite a while ago, uh, about sort of six, seven years ago now, and it started out with a daily email with me sending trades out. That still exists to this day. They're the official trades, the LTD trades, and they're really detailed. So that is the entry and exit points. I've researched the game and gone into all the characteristics and everything. So they're for people who just want to open up their emails, place those trades, and then get some profit every single month. But what I was finding is quite a few members were emailing me asking me about the other trades that I was doing and research that I was doing. So I created the goal list, which is a list of games that I thought there'd be goals in because of certain high percentages of certain things, um, which worked really well and I'm gonna go into that. And then recently, they've also wanted a little bit more so I created the nil nil half time versus the nil nil at full time and then that sheet is emailed out so I'll start with the nil nil half time versus the nil nil full time because it's the newest one uh, and it's also really easy to understand so every day I'm going to email you the sheet when there's games that meet the criteria and it's, it's sent as a PDF the first column is the country so that's the country in which the games are being played then it's the league uh, then it's the date and time, and then it's the home and the away. And then it gets interesting. So then we have the percentage from historical data uh, of the nil-nil half time. So uh, this is amalgamated between the two teams in games they've played in recent form. So we have a percentage of nil-nil at half time. And then next to that, we have nil-nil full time percentage and the average SH, which is the second half goals. Now, this is really interesting because how this works and how I use this is I look for games where we've got a high percentage of nil-nil at half time that then drops by about 20 or 30% in the second half with average goals being about 1.7 or above. The more average goals, the better. So just scanning through this sheet, I've got one of the older sheets up so that I could go back in time and see the, see the results as well. We've got a game in Colombia, which was a 55% chance, 55% on the stats at nil-nil half time that dropped all the way to 5% at nil-nil full time. So if it's nil-nil at half time and you've got the data to state that there's a big drop by full time, and there's looks like there's going to be goals because the average SH goals is quite high, then that opens up some trading opportunities. So you are able to lay the draw, and then a goal is scored, and then you can you can trade out, or you can lay the nil-nil. Now, what I always say is with this data, this is just data. So this is historical, and this is a really good basis to move from. But what you need to do when using this is to take this in play. So you need to then watch the game. Now you don't need to sit and watch the game live because sometimes it's difficult to get streams, but you can use websites like Flash Score, where you are able to see shots on target, corners, possession, dangerous attacks, those kinds of things. Now Bet365 has this in detail as well, and sometimes they have, well, sometimes a lot of the time they have the game as well, so that you can watch that. You only need a couple of quid in your account to be able to watch it. So every day you're going to get the sheet and all you need to do is just scroll through and look for some of these these big drops. Uh, I'm just trying to look for one now where the, the drop is quite nice. I've got this one here which is South Korea, uh, 
Geonam, Incheon, and half time nil nil was 35%. That dropped to 10% full time nil nil, and there was 1.9 goals. So I'm just going to scroll down here and see if I can find this game. Okay, so this game was 1 3, um, and it was 1 1 at half time. So that one didn't really work because that wasn't nil nil. Um, I'm just seeing if I can see anything else. I'm looking for quite high uh, second half goals. Uh, I know we only need one, but I want nearing towards two just just for my own my own trading. But this is the beautiful thing about these sheets that I'm explaining to you. These came from members wanting to take control of their own trading and get involved more in their own trading. So this is a good basis to, to go from. Um, I'm just scanning down. There were so many games. Uh, this was the 28th of July and there was so much data. Um, there's a game here in Finland that looks good quite interesting. So this is Jaro versus Ekanas. 45% half time, 15% uh, full time and we've got 2.1 goals average in the second half which is very very high. So let's have a look. This one is perfect. So this was nil nil at half time and the percentage on the stat was 45% nil nil full half time. That dropped by 30%, which is a big drop, uh, at full time to 15%. So there's a big chance of, of it not finishing um, nil nil. And there's 2.1 average goals in the second half. So we'd, t we'd have seen this game, it was on the sheet, we'd have checked it out, it would have highlighted it for one of those, one of those drops. Um, and we could have laid the nil-nil on this or the draw. This goes well. This goes in play. We start to look. Oh, livening up a bit. The last five minutes have been quite, quite lively. There's been a few dangerous attacks. There's been some shots on goal. There's been some corners. It's looking like a good game. So then we make the decision to lay the nil-nil, which is down to you, or to lay the draw. It depends on how you want to trade. Um, if you lay the draw, you're going to have to trade out once a goal is scored. Um, if you just lay the nil-nil, once a goal is scored, you've won. Uh, so this one uh, finished nil-three, so Ekanas won three-nil in this game. Um, so that was cracking and that come direct from the sheet. Okay, so I'm going to move into the goal list now. Now the goal list is, um, I'll just get it up here. So the goal list is very similar format, it looks exactly the same. It's country, country and they're playing in, league, they're playing in. Then we've got the date home versus away. Then we've got SH over 1.5%, which is second half over 1.5 goals. Then we've got FT BTTS, which is full time, both teams to score. And then we've got full time over 2.5%, which is obviously over two and a half goals. And then SH over 0.5 goals, which is over one goal in the second half, SH second half. Now, just looking straight through these, you can see so much data um, and I will, I'll shoot through all of these games. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 of these games. Um, these are games where there's a high percentage chance of goals because these stats are quite high. Um, so over 1.5, full team, both teams to score. This, you can really get some really good trades from this and there's m multiple ways you can do that. Now, the first column, over 1.5 in the second half. So if you're looking at a game that's nil-nil at half time or nil-one at half time or one-nil at half time, look at, that, look at that column and find a high percentage there. So the first one that's screaming out to me is Geonam versus in Incheon, which is in South Korea, my pronunciation of these obviously is horrendous. Uh, okay, so that was that was one one at half time that game. So one one at half time. So straight away looking at this, 
67% over 2.5 goals. That now is probably gone uh, because it's there's two goals. The value is going to be gone in that. But And the F, FT full-time both teams to score 67% is out as well because both teams have scored. But what we have left is a 78% percent of games that they play going over 1.5 in the second half it's huge and 89 percent over 0.5 goals this is a game that is 1-1 both teams are going for it we've now got data to say that it looks like there's going to be another goal in this game um, we've also got data to say it looks like there could be two goals in this game in the second half so we can lay the 1-1 that game finished 3-1. There was two goals in the second half. So that's one game that definitely finished um, over over 2.5s, but also had lots of goals. I'm just going to make a note now of of that on here so that I I don't keep going to that one. There's another game here that we've got uh, Club Nacional in Uruguay. There is a 70% stat for full teams, both teams to full time, both teams to score, and 90% over 0.5s in the second half. So that's in Uruguay. So I'm just going to go and have a look at that game now. Now this game was nil nil at half time. So now the opportunities. We've got a stat that tells us that there is 90% of historical data that there's going to be a goal in this game. But we've also got start the same 70% full time, full time, both teams to score. So our options here now, as I'm thinking through this, and this is why I'm sharing this with you, that's quite a high stat for both teams to score. So what we could do is we could back both teams to score right now, and then when one team scores, we could trade out, or we could wait until we could take some liability out when one team scores, and then wait for another goal, and then get a real big profit or we could wait for a, for somebody to score and then lay them because we think judged on the stats and the way the game's going they're going to concede because the both teams to score percentage is quite high um, so then we lay them they've just gone up in front um, so they, their price is going to drop it's going to be quite good value lay and then then we can back them when the other team scores or we can lay the nil nil um, we can lay the draw see what I mean about the goal list the opportunities are endless and what I really want you to do is look at these stats and have a think about how you like to trade and to, to put that in um, because this game was nil not at half time that finished 2-1 so the both teams to score came in the second half over 1.5 came in um, but the two main stats the 70% uh, both teams to score that came in and then the 90% over 0.5 in the second half came in so that got that game there I'm just going to run through this list quite quickly now um, that game had three goals in it then we had a game in Ecuador on the list that had here we go El Nacional that had six goals in it and the big stat there was full time over 2.5 was 80%. And the uh, the over 0.5 goals in the second half was 90%. So, and the goals came in that game. It's 3 0 at half time and then 0 3 for the second half. Six goals. So that's two games straight away on the goal list that had lots of goals. Um, Norway was the next one. So finding that one was Brat Varg, which was 1-0 at half time, finished 3 0 so three goals there. Um, we've got Ratchabori in Thailand. So I'm just going through this just to highlight right now because you're looking at this, you've just joined and you're looking at this and the goal list and what it's all about and I'm just going to tell you how many goals were in some of the games from this list. So already we've had quite a few. So Ratchbari was two goals. Um, there's another game, Chanat. Chanat Chambori finished nil-nil. So all this isn't going to be... All of these games aren't going to have goals because we can't win all the time. But... And you've, and you've got to accept that. But as you can already see... That's one game 
out of all of these that finished nil nil, every other game has got one, two, three, four, five, six goals in. Um, so over the course of the day, by reading these stats, you're going to be able to to pick out some some really good value trades here, and that's what it's all about: value trades over the longer term. Um, and you're going to have lots more winners than you are losers. Uh, we've got a game in South Korea, which was Jinam versus Incheon, which finished with four goals. Um, so then moving up, we've had a game in Australia. Um, so Australia, Queensland it was. Gold Coast. So that finished with four goals. Um, and we had another game in Australia which was which had four goals in it we had another game uh, which was four goals as you, as you can see another game which had six goals um, the Brisbane League again that one had three goals uh, NPL Queensland uh, so that one had Brisbane City. That had two goals. Um, another game here that was nil nil, um, which was a shame. So we've had two games out of the seventeen that had been nil nil. Um, and then the last sort of game on here was Yokohama, and I think the Yokohama game was called off. Actually, it was postponed. Yes, it was. So sixteen games on the list. Um, two were nil-nil and the rest had goals in them. Um, so there's the goal list and the nil-nil half-time versus nil-nil full-time. If you've got any questions, just drop me a message. I'm more than happy to help. I'd be really interested as well if you do get an angle of what suits you using these, um, then if, you would, if you'd let me know, that, that would be great. So just to remember and recap, guys, the goal list is all about finding high percentages Pairing that with the in-play and then finding a strategy or something that suits you. Um, hopefully that, I, that video has given you a few ideas. Uh, you can do things as well like laying the, the 1.5 goals when you see a high percentage um, of sort of 2.5 goals maybe. Um, and then pairing that with the goal times. So you're looking for the second half over 0.5s. Honestly, the opportunities are endless. Um, the simplest ones are sort of wait until half time, then making a decision if it's nil nil or one one, uh, and then looking for for high sort of percentages on over one point five, over two point five, and over zero point five, um, or backing both teams to score. So hopefully that's giving you some ideas. Uh, the nil-nil full-time as well has been covered in this video. If you do have any questions, let me know. I'm more than happy to help.